what is Love Our Nation and what does Love Our Nation do? Okay, very good. So Love Our Nation is a 501c3. We've been in existence since 2013 and we're an after-school program. We're a free after-school program and we help inner-city youth in Dania Beach and anywhere in the Tri-County area, but we are focused in Dania Beach to make sure that they get opportunities that they ordinarily would not get, that they are exposed to things that they would not ordinarily see, that they know that life doesn't begin and end in Dania Beach. The world is waiting for them and we're here to present it to them. So this is one of the participants in your program? Yes. And what does she do? Jalen or Jayla, I'm not sure because Which she one? has a twin. Yes. I had Jaylin. She runs track. She's an excellent athlete. She plays basketball. She has excellent grades. Are you the one that's in the Honor Society? I was. Yes. She was in the Honor Society and she golfs. She is just an all-around young lady. We're so proud to have her. And even though she doesn't come every day after school, mm -hmm. whenever we need her, she's there. Beautiful. Thank you. do you do here? What have you learned? Um, I've learned how to golf. I've learned how to do creative writing. I've learned how to sing. We do singing courses. And I've just learned so many different things from this OV and I've learned discipline as well from this program. So this program is a once a week, once a month. How often do you come here? Uh, we come here every day. Every day? Yeah. Like, so it's like an after school program? Yes, it's an after school program. Uh, uh, and I'm um, how long you say you've been coming here? Five years. Five years? How old are you now? I'm 15. 15. Congrats. Thank you. Okay. So, you are? 
Hi, I'm Commissioner Joyce Davis with the City of Dania Beach. And how long have you personally been involved with Love Our Nation program? Well, personally, I've been involved with Love Our Nation before I was elected. Ms. Overall introduced me to Love Our Nation with the twins, Jayla and Jalen, when they were just 10 years old. And so I learned about the healthy eating that they had uh, at the program and all the wonderful things they did with finance. Uh, those girls actually graduated from my Pro Girls program, which is an education and empowerment program. And we've continued to keep in touch and watch the kids grow ever since they were little kids over five years. So now as a commissioner, I'm able to help support Love Our Nation and have them come and present at commission meetings and showcase all the wonderful things they do with learning golf and all these wonderful things that help empower them for the future. Financial literacy, we just saw them do uh, tap dancing, they're completely talented in so many different areas, and Ms. Oval has poured her heart and soul into Love Our Nation, and we're so glad to have someone like that in our community empowering our children. How can this city help in this program? Well, I think there's a lot of different ways we can help by coming out and supporting their programs, like their annual luncheon that they have today. We can give them financial support, so when they go to golf uh, classes that they have the equipment that they need, uh, transportation that they need. Uh, Ms. Overall's done such a wonderful job with introducing these kids to so many different parts and aspects of life that we as a community and we as a commission need to make sure that we're investing and in pouring into our kids in the same manner, whether it's financially, whether it's showing up, being present, and making sure that our kids and our community know what a wonderful program Love Our Nation is. That's very well said. How long have you been a commissioner? For the last three years, I was elected November 3rd, uh, 2024, and it has been an amazing journey. I've been able to see the kids in our community grow up and become successful. Uh, one of the girls is now being the MC. They're running track. They're doing so many amazing things, getting so many accomplishments academically and physically, and it's just a pleasure to be able to see the growth of this program over the last five years. Okay, thank you very much. Marcus Garvey, born August 17, 1887, in St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica, was a charismatic black leader who organized the first important American black nationalist movement and based in New York City's Harlem. Now presenting Love Our Nation performing Marcus Garvey.
Good afternoon, everybody. I just want to say thank you to everyone here. I know almost everyone's face. Um, we've been here for so many years now, and it literally started as just, as just a gardening program. And with the needs of our children and the support of you guys, we made it to what it is today, a full after-school program, um, needs from everything, every which direction, golf, martial arts, Yes, free, free guys. So we literally made everything from nothing to something. And whether your help was big or small, it mattered as you can see today because we wouldn't have done anything without all of you, all of the support and everything that you guys have done for us in time. And you know, there's just dedication to our children. So we really do thank you from the bottom of our heart. So, Miss Avril, now, what was today for Love Our Nation? Oh, what a glorious day today was. It's a day that we celebrate our children. Everything that they've done from January till the end of the school term. And it's everything that they've learned because we do help them with tutoring after school, as well as the activities that they do here, such as golfing, such as um, tap dancing, music, gardening, all of the aspects, and financial literacy. Okay. And today was a graduation or a... No, it's just a luncheon. We have an end of the school year luncheon, which is what this is. And then we have an a end of the calendar year that we do in December. Okay. So we have two celebrations. We just like the children to see where they started and where they are. So about, there's constant growth. About how many children are in your program? So we have registered this year 75, but we only have a total of, I think it's 15 or 12 that participated today. Mm -hmm. And so one of the reasons is because we don't really have a home. We are using the patch temporarily. Um, the space that we were using previously, it was destroyed by the floods. And so now we're really looking for um, a space where we can house our program. Okay, so this is just a temporary home this then? This is just a temporary home. We need our own home. If there's anyone out there that can give us a home, please. We need it. Our children need it.